Hi everybody, uh, my Starlink dish came today and I'm going to get it installed. Uh, this is the dish right here and it's got a million feet of cable which I wish they'd give you shorter lengths, maybe 10 foot because that's all I'll probably need. I brought this in to see if it would fit on here and it won't. What I'm going to do is go outside past the dust and the dogs is uh, put it up there where the um, huge nut dish is. Huge nut's pretty much useless as we all know and uh, I'm going to put it right where that dish is. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to take the dish off and mount it to the pole or mount it to the dish itself. I can do that. So here we go. I'm going to, I guess I'll walk down there and look at it a little bit closer. I guess I could probably just mount it to the pole itself. That's the way I did Sue's, was I mounted it to the pole itself. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so right here we have this piece actually comes out and this is where the connector is comes to, to attaches to the dish. You can take this out. They do make shorter cables, but they don't make one short enough. So I'm just going to use what we have here. And uh, what I'm going to do here is wrap this up in black tape just to help retain it and uh, keep water in it, out of it. So let me get started on that. Okay, there's that. That's all hooked up there, all taped up. Now this dish is probably the it's stupid simple. If you can't install this, you probably shouldn't be driving a car. But this is the mount. You can take this mount out and set it on a picnic table if you want. The house is a little bit dirty. The dogs have got it all dusty. It's been really windy. I have some cleaning to do. This is a gajillion feet of wire here. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the dish off and mount the pole to the dish. And I'm going to use hose clamps to do that with. I have lots of hose clamps and they're shell bot, but I have lots of hose clamps and we can get that thing attached so it's not going to come off. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got my ladder up there. There's just three bolts up there. Look like they're probably half inch. <laughs> and I can lift that off. Uh, <clears throat> I believe I sealed that inside, so I don't know that I'm going to use the same hole going in. That's going into the garage. But I will look at it and see if I can do that. Otherwise, I'm going to go in up there somewhere. I can go through that board and come out into the eave. Or, yeah, I could do that. But I want to see if I can reuse this same hole. I'll have to enlarge it. So we will do that as we Okay, go. climbing the ladder. I think this is important. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, this is already cut and the wire ties are rotten. So I'm going to loosen these three bolts right here. And uh, that will allow me to pick this up and toss it on the ground. Useless dish. Completely useless. So, here we go. Don't like climbing ladders. It hurts my knees. Oh, I guess I might not have been recording. The dish is loose. And what I'm going to do is just lift it up off the pole and drop it on the ground. So here we go. Okay, the dish is off. Down there on the ground, all bent up. Who cares? It's used net. Uh, I'm gonna put these around here and tighten them up some. I, I may have to bring out a different kind of clamp, but uh, I think these will probably work. So here we go. Okay, I got the two, <coughs> excuse me, two hose clamps on here. Run your cable through the hose clamps, and I 
just sat it right there at the end of it because I don't want it dropping down and getting in the dirt. You can see all that extra cable down there. They give you away lots. And some people might need it, some people might not. It would be nice if they gave you the option of saying how much you want. I could have done this with 10 feet. So, all right, I'm going to get back to it. Okay, there's the dish mounted. You don't have to worry about orientation of the dish. Just make sure it's up and down, mostly plumb. The dish does all the work. It'll move itself around and put itself where it needs to be. I think what I'm going to do is not use that wire. I'm going to cut it off right there and go in over here. I'll have to drill a new hole. It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but that's what I'm going to do because there's a ton of wire down there. And this is the electrical room. And if there's any interference, electrical interference, I want to make sure that I can move it away from that electrical interference. <clears throat> uh, I do, with my inverter, I do have some birdies on some of the ham channels. It's all coming from the inverter. Uh, it's not very bad, but it's enough to, I can't use those particular channels. It, no big deal, but anyhow, uh, I've got to go and get myself a good sized drill bit for that to go through. And I'll be back. Okay, what I did was I pushed a wire tie through from the inside, and that's where I'm drilling the hole. There's also an electrical wire in the vicinity of this, so I have to be careful. I shortened up my ladder so I could get some torque on it, some pressure, and I already started drilling. <clears throat> so that's going to go, there's a layer of metal above that. I'm hoping I can get through that no problem. So, wish me luck. Okay, the hole is drilled. Try to see if I can get that through there. I'm sure I can. I use my super heavy duty monster extra good Royobi drill to do that. I put in an inch and an eighth hole. What I probably should have done was pulled that out and pushed it down through from the outside, but I didn't. I'm going to push this up into that hole. I have to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's in. Now, I push a little bit of it through there. It's not going anywhere. I'm gonna walk that out into the yard, and uh, that way it'll pull easy. So here we go. I need to clean that off a bit, and um, I probably ought to get the bike out of here, just to make it easier. Um, but I need to start pulling that through. Just ran it all the way through the house. House is a mess, don't look at it. It goes all the way into the bathroom where I got a coil down there. So next thing to do is go outside and finish that part. So that's where I'm headed. Okay, I brought my trusty rusty royal away with a quarter inch bit. I'm gonna take all those screws. They're called rokas. Uh, <coughs> they're cable clips, rokas. Uh, when I work for the cable company, we call them rokas. But I'm gonna take all of those out and just cut that off right there at the bottom where it's sealed up. I had to seal that, the disc guy didn't do it. The huge neck guy. I had to take all that out and seal it because he had it just running through the hole. But I'm going to start there and get that out of the way. Okay, that's all cut off. I left a little bit down there so that any water that gets on it will drip down instead of in. Up here, you can see my hole, I think. It's a pretty good sized hole, but that's what I had to do. Um, I have a plan for that that will help me out a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go get that taken care of before I um, wire tie this to the mast. I'll be back again. Remember to press record. What I did here was I opened up a piece of 3 8 fuel line. It's all slitted open, just a little piece. I'm going to put that wire up there or inside this fuel line so that it, um, 
is protected from that metal up there. I don't want that metal cutting into that line, which I really doubt it would, but this is just insurance. So here we go. So there's the outside uh, cables tied to the mast. Um, you don't need a big drip loop outside because if anything goes wrong with the cable, you're just going to have to replace it. So I'm going to clean up my mess down there and uh, put my ladder back over the fence and go inside and work on that. Okay, take note of the position of the fence. That's facing uh, mostly south. And we'll see where it is uh, when I come back up here and uh, well, when we get it hooked up. So that's what it looks like. One million feet of wire that I have here. It'll turn on a light. More light. You can always use more light. There's one. There's two. We got more light. See all those pretty batteries? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this million feet of extra wire here and try it, roll it up nicely and wire tie it and I'm going to hang it up there in that corner. So here I go. I had made another shelf and got everything hooked up. Um, it's not plugged in yet. I want to um, go ahead and do something with this. I'm going to tie it up, get it out of the way. And that's about it there. So let me get that done, then I'll plug it in. We'll go outside and watch. I didn't press record. Anyhow, I got this thing up here. It's all hooked up. I need to just hang this wire up so it's out of the way somehow. The light on the bottom is on. You can see it. That means it does have power. Let's walk back outside since I forgot to press record and look at the dish. You can see it's all nice and flat. I think it will rotate and turn as needed. I heard it from inside. You could hear it moving. Once it sets itself, I don't believe it moves again after that. I'm going to go in and maybe take the dogs. and They're in the truck over there. Again, a pain in the butt. There's Baby. There's Shellbot. So. The rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. Just follow the app and uh, enter your password and all that cool stuff. I think I'm going to take the dogs for a walk first, and, or not walk, but to the trash cans, and I will be back. As far as naming this, <coughs> I used the HughesNet name that was on that the uh, network name was HughesNet, and there's the numbers and everything. And I use the same password as the HughesNet. So the Starlink is named for the HughesNet and the original password. That way I won't have to change anything. All my devices will connect to the HughesNet, no problem. Um, it makes things a lot easier. If you've ever tried to connect up 13 or 14 cameras, plus every device in the house back to a new network, you know what kind of a pain in the butt will be. Just rename the network the same as the old network. Rename the new network the same as the old network and use the same password. And make sure to turn off the old network before you turn on, try to name the use and other things get confusing. Alright, back to work. This project 
Okay, you can see that I have, wow, my lens is dirty. I didn't realize it was that dirty. It, it only took it a couple minutes to connect to everything after I got it hooked up. Uh, it takes about 12 hours, according to this, to use the visibility. Let's see what it comes up to here. Yeah, still collecting data on obstructions. So there are no obstructions out there. Go to buypatriotpack.com to start your pledge to help preserve the Yeah, get out of that. The speed test, I imagine it probably takes a while too. Oh, there it goes. I've heard a lot of people say that it works great for a while and then the speed starts to drop off. Eight megabit per second download, 92 megabit per second upload, or other way around, with a 112 latency. Uh, let's see what it's doing here. The latency should come down, actually. Maybe once it figures out what it's doing. 125 megabits per second. Upload. Republicans with a trip to the southern border talking about Title 42 and what that means. means I don't know if that's download or upload, really. Is COVID-19 emergency over for both political This is really just self-explanatory, so and if you can most Republicans who use a screwdriver, you can get this thing to work. Are now calling for the administration Stats. Had a momentary outage there. Emergency. Meanwhile, some progressive yeah, there aren't who have been all the satellites aren't up there yet, so it will have little allergies here and there. Sue's house, she's in a canyon and she gets quite a few. But anyhow, that's it. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to go out and uh, clean up what's left of my mess to clean up. And I didn't make it to the trash cans yet. I got excited. But we're going to head out. Uh, I'll get this published. This is great. Talk to you all later. Quick follow-up before I close this out. Don't forget to seal your hole, which I did forget to seal the hole. It's sealed now. I got, uh, I used spray foam because I had a ton of it. No lights came on the face of the modem. I don't know if there's supposed to be any or not. And let's go outside. While I was at the trash cans, the dish repositioned itself. <coughs> you can see the, the new angle on it. Um, I do have one concern about the whole thing, and that is hail. How is that? It's like a mylar or something, thin plastic over the face of it. Is that going to be able to withstand the hail? Because we get pretty good hail out here. And a lot of other people get it too. So that might be something that uh, Starlink should look into and check out. And make sure it will survive a good hailstorm. Uh, maybe supply us with some kind of a, or, you know, an optional cover of some kind. Glass cover that will still let the signals come through. Anyhow, back to work. I hope this thing uh, helps people. Talk to you all later in the wind. Bye.